Police are looking for whoever opened fire in a North Memphis neighborhood, sending two juveniles and a man to the hospital. It was one of several shootings that MPD responded to today. WRG's Melissa Moon joins us now from outside the police precinct on North Main. And Melissa, how are the victims doing? Well, that adult was taken to the hospital in critical condition. The juveniles, both teens, are expected to be okay. Police may be able to use their own cameras to find the people responsible. A SkyCop camera just steps away from where police were putting down evidence markers, at least seven of them, at the Cavalier Court Apartments. There's a lot of gunshots around here. It's just... They went crazy. Keisha Tony heard several gunshots near her apartment on Perez, but didn't run for cover. She says she's gotten used to the gunfire. Police say a 14-year-old, a 15-year-old, and an adult were shot here in the middle of the afternoon. At least two bullets hit this car parked along Perez. It's terrifying because I got a son who be over here then, like I said, you see all the kids out here. George Butler wasn't here when the shooting happened. He rushed home to check on his loved ones and found his apartment complex covered in crime scene tape. But this was still be expected though. This go on all the time. It's not, it's nothing new to no, no bad over here. Last month, five people were shot at Perez and Chelsea during a Memorial Day weekend block party. Police haven't said what led up to this shooting. Butler says the problem is too many people have guns and it's gotten too easy to buy one off the street. As long as you ain't got no fear, you go to the store, get all, all kind of guns now. Now, police say they do not have a description of the suspects right now, but if you know anything or have any information that can help investigators, call Crime Stoppers. That number is 901-528-CASH. In downtown Memphis, Melissa Moon, WREG News Channel 3.